praise the lord welcome to never alone channel this is a new month and uh, we'll hear what the lord wants to promise to us through his word for this month i want you to turn your bibles to book of acts chapter 16 verse 31 there is a wonderful promise there and i would like to read it for you you and your house will be saved and they said believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be saved you and your household and they spoke the word of the lord to him and to all who were in his house the background of this particular verse is very simple paul is in the city of philippi there because of uh preaching the gospel uh himself and also silas were put in prison and uh, we know that uh, the encounter of the angel of the lord uh, was there and paul was uh, uh released uh, by the angels and uh, they were paul and silas they both were walking through uh, the gates of the prison when the jailer saw this he was really afraid and he wanted to kill himself but immediately paul and silas stopped him they said to him don't harm yourself see why did uh, the jailer or the other uh, prison authority person why did he want to kill himself it is because if the prisoners escape definitely he and his household will be put uh into problem and difficulty by the authorities uh sometimes they will be hanged because of that fear he wanted to kill himself bible says then paul and silas they saw this and immediately they stopped him to kill himself and that is when uh they preached uh, the gospel to this man and then this man was convinced uh, of his sin and he wanted to be saved that's when he asked how can i be saved that time paul and silas told him they said to him believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be saved all you have to do is believe in the lord jesus christ believe what he has done on the cross of calvary for you to take away your sins what jesus has done no matter how you try whatever you try you cannot be saved all you have to do is believe in the lord jesus you will be saved not only that there is one more thing one more promise added to this promise and they said you and your household so here we see that paul and silas preached the word of god to the household and the whole household of this person was saved now what god really wants to speak to us maybe some members in your house are not saved you have been praying uh, to the salvation of your family members or for your relatives and you are seeing that they have gone of course they are not coming to church they are not uh, having the desire to believe the lord but you should know one thing don't give up on your prayer because this promise is attached is linked to one another if you are saved your house old will be definitely saved and we see that that has happened uh, this person was saved and his household was saved the same way if you are praying for your household people to be saved you should know that god has promised and he will fulfill his promise all you have to do is keep preaching the word keep praying for your family members you may never know how god is going to bring them to the salvation experience so this month god is giving you a promise and that promise is your you and your household will be saved so are you discouraged like uh, you have been praying for your household your house members to be saved and you are not seeing that happening you have heard 
this promise from God the Father. Jesus and the Holy Spirit will be working uh, in their heart to be saved. So be glad and rejoice. You and your household will be saved. Don't give up on preaching the word, preaching the gospel, and don't give up on praying for them. May God bless you. Rejoice. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray especially for the salvation of your family members. Please write their names and keep praying and believing uh, because this is the promise of God. God is faithful. If he has promised, he will bring it to pass. The Lord who has been faithful to you, he will be faithful to bring the salvation experience to your household. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for every person in everybody's families. Lord, there are many, many who are believing their household to be saved. And Lord, Acts chapter 16 verse 31 says that you and your household will be saved. We see that the jailer was saved, not only himself, but his whole household was saved. And so Lord Jesus, we pray that everybody's family members will be saved. Those who are watching and hearing this message, if they have written the names of their family members, Lord, we thank you for promising that they all will be saved. We thank you for the salvation experience for every one of them. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you all. Jesus will never leave you. Amen. You've been watching Rays of Peace Ministries. Thank you for tuning into Never Alone program. If you need prayer, call to the number on the screen or email to Pastor Mark Jackamar at hotmail.com. Visit our website www.raysofpeace.com for more information.